profile. And standard, actually I said you're going to have seven to eight characters. And your, your, your rising percentage of you are going to start putting ones and twos at the end. Uh, you're going to have a good amount, a uh, small amount, sorry, of two word combos. So blue nine sky and whatever, you know, I'm trying to think of some better ones. Um, but you're also going to have to get great English frequency hits. Entropy less than four, uh, but more than 1.4. And you're pretty much going to use lowercase a through z, zero through nine. And if you're really tricky, you're going to give me a, an exclamation, a pound, and a, and a dollar sign. And so what I'm doing is I'm saying if I can guess what user, you know, I'm looking at the forensics image, so I can already make some assumptions, but I can rate those higher. So if I think you're someone I'm going to call a standard user that has a bad password, and I wasn't able to crack it with brute force um, or my rainbow tables, then I'm going to go after this. And this is going to help me, instead of 238 gigs, I'm breaking it down so that I get a smaller amount. I'm going to get maybe, I don't know, four or 500 megs. Or that, maybe that's all I'm going to ask for. But I'm hopefully going to pull out all the things because I thought you were, you know, what I call a standard class. Um, I made it four classes total. The second one is called informed. And that's where you know something about computers. So it's kind of real, right? Like, oh, I know I should have a good password. Uh, this is a special one I use for my bank or whatever. But you're going to go higher. You're going to see more two-word combos. Um, entropy less than, uh, more than, less than four, more than two. So I'm breaking that up and making that a little bit tighter. And then I'm giving you a larger key space. So um, the biggest thing in the world, though, that's really going to solve this for me is if I know what your password policy is, then I don't even have to bother with most of this. I can just go after that. So if I see a great password like Shmukon rocks without an exclamation point, and I know that you must have a punctuation, you've know, got to have three classes or whatever, three of those models or three of those uh, complexity you know, indicators, then I know that's not a password, and I can just drop that right away. So I can put that kind of logic in to say, you know, this is what a good password is, and this is the way that we can pull things out. Um, so I thought it was exciting. Hopefully, you know, other people will too. Hopefully I can actually encourage somebody to really turn this into a commercial product is kind of what I'm going for. Um, I love ideas, and I love doing these things, but uh, I don't really have a lot of time to go out and, and build something to kind of the level it should be. Um, but anyway, but pas password profiles are going to weight potential passwords for me. So, you know, do I only want the top 10%? Do I only want the top 5%? There's a number in there, and it's kind of what you're going after. And I, I kind of eyeballed it for all the ones that I've used it for. I've actually used it on a couple cases that I've worked on so far, and it's been pretty great. Um, I was able to see my passwords on all my test systems, and then when I actually used it for some production stuff, it, it actually found the password that I wanted. But more importantly, um, you know, you're, it's going to take up a ton of space. So if you're going to do something like this, you're going to use these scripts, you probably want to get like a one terabyte, $300 drive, USB drive, so you have lots of space to work with. But uh, one of the categories I didn't really talk about was one called All Out, and that's just what I thought was the NSA model. I actually try to use 238 gigs um, of strings or of passwords to crack, you know, somebody's, you know, uh, PGP encryption or their TrueCrypt or whatever they want to do with it. But um, anyway, and so the All Out profile just simply doesn't do much. It just rates all passwords high and keeps what I consider to be the trash, which is all those OS trappings and things along those lines. Um, but then really what happens here is now is we're turning it in so all those scored passwords turn into a dictionary. And the way I did it was I wanted to, instead of just saying, hey, give me 20 megs or give me 50 megs, it was based on percentage. So if you knew if you had 230 gigabytes and you only wanted, you know, one gigabyte, then yes. Well, that's probably not a good idea. But uh, anyway, but it was all based on percentage. So you could say, give me the top 15% now. Now give me 15 to 20 percent. Now give me 25 to 20 to 25 percent. Things along those lines. Um, and that was, that's really now it's a manageable level. It's something that you can actually brute force. Um, if you're getting five, it depends on what you're using, but if you're getting, you know, half a million passwords per second, then yeah, you can do a lot. You might even be able to do the whole 236 gigs in your time frame that you have to work on a case or to simply go after this password. Uh, my cho number one choice was John the Ripper. Uh, talk about some of the things that it uses to, to brute force. Um, in this case, for a dictionary, dictionary cracks. Kane and Amel, Elcomsoft. El, uh, and then, of course, if you need to, you can go build your own if you can't find anything else. I had a case where I was working on some LDAP, um, SHA-1 passwords, and I had to go do something. So I actually brought some examples in. Um, and this, you know, you can see all kinds of good things about them. You can see what, what kernel I'm running, and uh, apparently it's a SNMP, SMP, so, you know, you got little things, right? Please don't hack me. Um, anyway, and then I showed you the crack. I created a account called Testman. And I actually used it for a while, trying to do it for real. But um, anyway, it, it didn't work out that way. I, I, couldn't. I was trying to force core files and all kinds of crazy stuff. But I just didn't use it long enough to, uh, to actually you know, have it as a real example like I had with some of the cases that I worked. But uh, I did build this actually Passcan pass image, uh, DC Smith 8, password out, uh, was about four, four I, think, I think it was about uh, three or four gigs 
So it was very, very large. And I caught it pretty early. Um, I got in about 15 minutes, and I checked about 3.9 million passwords. But I actually found this password, System 21, or Sys 21 to M88. And that was just using regular John with, uh, um, really with no, nothing special. It's uh, not innovative or anything like that. The second example was I went out on the internet and I said, oh great, I'm going to Google hack and find me some, some Cisco PIX files. And so I actually found some, I didn't go with the Cisco ones, but I actually went out and found some and I was all excited, like, oh, I can't wait to crack this. You know, I'm actually going to use my program, but I generated it from another, um, from another machine. I didn't have a machine that had this password, but uh, I went and generated it from one of the cases that I was working on. And it, was, it got really big. It was a couple gig. I don't think it was a full four or five. But it found it pretty much right away, because uh, somehow the word Cisco, maybe it was their, from their website or whatever. But I was pretty disappointed when it was simply just Cisco. It was somebody took the base password, and I just didn't recognize it as a hash. But uh, everybody's, hopefully everybody's familiar with Cain and Abel. That's always fun. And then I also went out and wrote a script, right, and showed you some of the things I did. And this was the, one of the LDAP ones that I did. Um, I had a target hash, number one, and uh, hopefully this doesn't look too scary to you. I then actually run it through a function that I wrote called check hash. And I'm simply just using the, uh, the digest SHA-1. And I add the word SHA-1 because uh, that's what LDAP does for you. And then I just keep matching them. And I, I don't remember how long this took, but uh, I, I came back a couple hours later and it actually found my password. So it was pretty exciting. But it uh, just shows you that you don't have to have another program. You don't have to go buy something. You don't got to buy Elmosoft or uh, the Access Data Password Recovery Toolkit. Um, in some cases, you can just do all this with John and then the stuff that you write if John doesn't support it. You can also go and write your own John, um, the Ripper. It's not really as scary as it sounds, but hopefully this doesn't look bad at all. And that's pretty much it. It's on my, my website right now, hcpfs.com. Uh, uh, it's still fragmented. I, like I said, I wrote it in Perl. I want to get it to something much more portable, something that's a lot faster. I think it's going to be about, you know, at least 50% faster uh, going in C. And it's, two, it's in two levels right now. It's gen strings, which is going to go look at the image and pull all the strings out. So I'm doing a lot of that um, just, just extraction. It's a, it's a lot of work. Um, and you have to base that on the number. So right now I'm going to do gen strings, and one of the parameters is going to be 10, right? Because I want all 10, 10 letter passwords. And I'm sorry, I take that back. Uh, gen strings just goes and pulls it all out. Gen passwords is going to look at that, that string file, and that's where it breaks it into 10. And it's going to do all the scoring. And when you get done, you're going to have the ability to say, show me the top 10%, show me the top 50%. Uh, but you're going to know how, how much that's going to be based on um, the actual string size that you got from gen, gen strings. Um, lots of space. I think the largest one that I worked on was about 400 gig. It, was, uh, it, was, it took forever to actually run it through a, a brute forcer, but uh, it did. It just... Uh, and then the next version is needed. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm trying to... Like I said, I'd rather get somebody else excited about it that has a lot more time than me. But um, ported for speed. Uh, combine the functionality to provide one pass, right? So I don't have to do it 9, 10, 11, 12. I can actually do it all in one shot um, where I get the strings out and then I can start comparing them. And if it's just a low enough number, just drop them. So now you're keeping a much smaller list of the important strings, not all the strings. And that's kind of the next step. Um, the only thing I'm not sure is about how I'm going to do on the fly du uh, duplicate removal. There's supposed to be an E on there, my bad. But uh, I don't know how I'm going to do it on the fly. You know, maybe it's a B tree or something like that where I can just start filing these things and then seeing if it matches already because I definitely don't want the same string over and over and over um, taking up space because the whole point is to make it so I don't have this giant file. Thank you. And questions, smooth balls. Am I full of it? You get to you tell me. Wow, I really had a hard time hearing that. When I image a drive... I didn't see... Uh, the, the question was if I image a drive just using strings, which I actually started doing originally before I wrote a some very similar program. Um, are there going to be indicators before or after the password that help you track it or make it easier to find? Um, I don't really, I didn't see that at all. Um, I was just doing strings to grab everything, um, but I don't think it's, you're really going to get it just as easy. Um, on the things that I did manually track down, like some of the, the memory um, images that I looked at, they really were just r strings that were in there between line breaks. Um, and sometimes they were all mixed up into one line, and sometimes they were um, just by themselves. But I didn't see anything, that, especially when I was doing the memory stuff, I didn't see anything that actually showed. Um, in the hard drive things, 